Hello everyone, um, this is Church of STFU, um, aka Max. Uh, so, I was just watching videos, uh, watching Bob Chaos's video, Help Fight Trans Hate. Um, and so far I've been kind of talking about politics and religion on my channel, so I thought it was a good opportunity for me <coughs> to talk very briefly about my thoughts on sexuality and bigotry. Um, and because I want to come out in support of uh, everyone's right to define themselves in whatever the way they want, to be <clears throat> identified as other people as such, and not to be discriminated against by other people based on based on how they choose to identify themselves and want to be identified. <clears throat> so it's it's been a kind of historic thing that we've picked on uh, very harshly on on people that have sexual um, that have some sexual orientation that we don't understand or that's not culturally accepted and we've also obviously picked on uh, the female gender throughout a lot of history um, for very bad reasons um, and that was bad I think it's ironic, I don't know whether ironic is the right word, maybe sad is the right word rather, that there seemed to be, and I'm not really into this, I'm not really um, clued into the entire debate, I must admit, I haven't seen most of the videos, I've only seen some of it and heard some of the back and forth chatter, but the idea that some feminists who I think that the goal of, of uh, equal rights for women is is a very important one and it's not been fulfilled yet so I think there's definitely a role for people for fighting for women's rights but the idea that um, some of the people advocating for that would <coughs> then think it okay to to kind of um, attack disenfranchise and even to some extent persecute people um, say, for example, in the trans community uh, that have a different idea to to sexuality, not a different idea, but just that identify themselves um, in a certain way that they, for whatever reason, don't like. I, f I find that very difficult um, because obviously in a lot of places it's still quite difficult to be a woman growing up. Uh, but if we look at our society in the West, probably um, the trans community is the community right now that's kind of, of all the sexual orientations, really the most oppressed, the least accepted, and the least well understood. So the idea that people would encourage that sort of, um, that sort of bigotry towards, towards human beings, I find very disturbing. Um, and I don't see what business it really is of anyone. You can think whatever you want of, you know, you can you can find this disgusting or that disgusting. If you're homosexual, you can find straight people weird, <laughs> whatever way around you want to do it. But uh, the, whatever their preferences are, it's their own business. So. I think this is such a perfect example, such a perfect case of if you don't have anything nice to say, then you probably shouldn't be saying anything at all because it will make you sound like a bigot. And I'm sure a lot of people don't mean to be that. They they see their their own identity at risk somehow by someone else. Um, choosing to to view themselves in a different light but really I mean take consideration of of the other person in that equation whatever discomfort you might have with that idea they're a human being and it's their identity here that is at question and un unless you can show how they're directly hurting someone by what they're doing it's none of your business 
to uh, to judge them in a moral sort of way uh, for the way they choose to live their life and that's my honest opinion and just like I will not stand personally for the persecution of of, of gays or the persecution of or the the strange uh, habits um, that, that, that the strange rituals that certain cultures have towards women I I don't think anyone should stand for for transphobia and trans bigotry I think it's wrong I think it's perfectly in line with all of the other bigotries which we dismiss as as a remnant of the past so in other words yeah just just summing up I'm Max I support anyone's right to identify themselves gender wise or in terms of their sexual preference however they want and for me personally I think that that's a great thing especially if it makes them happy and it makes the people around them happy and ma it makes them feel good about themselves and I don't understand what anyone else why anyone else thinks they have the right to interfere or to talk down to these people anyways this was Church of SDFU I'll see you guys all later